Hey ladies and gents, we are back with some of Orion. Uh, sorry it's been a while, I, my, I'm still just getting almost over my allergies, so I didn't like be uh, cacking and coughing when I'm doing these. Uh, we are talking about NPCs versus uh, factory chains to supply your uh, factories, essentially. This is a medical supply factory uh, that's producing medical supplies. Now there's two train of thoughts here. Uh, there's also, we're also going to talk about upgrading, whether or not you should upgrade a factory uh, to produce multiple lines. So NPCs, uh, using the NPCs, and we're going to run up here to the trade goods, I have this station set to buy goods from others and actually request goods, which means the NPCs are bringing me the materials to produce medical supplies. You can see the money spent was $357 million, and selling the medical supplies I've made $661 million, so I have a profit of $304 million for this factory. Uh, now, using the NPCs, uh, there's a reason why it, it's a little easier than doing the factory chains. For example, if I was going to do a factory chain for this specific station or factory, I would have to have a water factory, I'd have to have a chemicals factory, a fabric factory, a zinc mine, and a chlorine mine, or a chlorine factory. So I'd have to have four, four factories and one mine to feed this station. Um, which would work. I mean, don't get me wrong, you're going to make way more money doing it that way. Uh, the problem is it's a very time-consuming uh, and it's it's very it's costly. So you're going to have to buy, you know, you're going to be into hawk here probably close to 50 million credits just to produce this plus this. So you're almost going to have probably close to 100 million credits uh, into this uh, factory chain to produce medical supplies. Which, of course, you're going to make a buttload of money but like I said it's a it's a long process uh, you move the stations around you got everything everything set up uh, you have to get things moving back and forth between each other paying crews and all that kind of stuff uh, works works great if you're gonna build a empire um, and you're into the whole building thing if you're not into the whole building thing simply using the NPCs work fabulous because uh, you don't have to build all this extra stuff just to make the extra money here I'm making almost 8,000 credits uh, a, pr a production cycle uh, which works out to be, you know, um, yeah, I'm spending money to buy the material, uh, but I'm selling it quite a bit more money at ten, plus 10% uh, in this instance. So if you're just playing the game to get into, the, to make the money to get into the, the center and beat, the, and beat the Guardian, this is the way to do it. If you're into the whole building thing, of course, the other way is better because uh, you're going to build, you know, uh, a very large factory chain. Uh, to, pr to produce the materials for this factory and it'd just be nothing but profit. Works out great uh, if you're doing it that way. Two different ways of thinking, entirely up to you how you decide to do it. Uh, factory chain wise, uh, you know, we did produce a simple factory chain out here on the edge, which was of course the steel factory. <coughs> so the scrap metal trader, the coal mine here, feed the steel factory, the factory steel factory produces steel and then sells it, uh, which is you know, that, that's what that's a simple that's a factory chain for you. Uh, however, once again, you have to you know build the scrap metal, you have to build a coal mine, you have to steal steel factory uh, to do this. You know, it's, it's entirely what you want to do. Uh, if you want to build the empire type um, economic juggernaut, uh, or if you're simply just trying to get to the center of the galaxy, I usually go with the uh, NPCs. Uh, bringing me material instead of building these big long factory chains. Because you have to remember, uh, for example, you get into the advanced factories, you're going to need 10 to 12 factories plus 5 or 6 mines to produce material for only one factory so it can produce high end, for example, body armor, uh, vehicles, mining robots, that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of time and a lot of money into the, and you're talking in that situation, almost probably 300 million to half a billion credits to produce a long supply chain to feed that advanced factory. So yeah, it's a time thing. It's also a choice thing whether or not you're going to do it uh, either and or. So hopefully that explains a little bit about the NPC versus factory chain. The other question uh, asked quite often is the uh, production, or the, I'm sorry, not the production, the upgrades. So now this factory has been upgraded once. So I have, I do believe, five parallel productions going. The reason why I upgraded is because I wasn't producing uh, medical supplies fast enough um, for the uh, NPCs. 
I think I was only producing like one medical supply every 30 seconds or something like that. So I upgraded production um, or upgraded to another pair, a couple parallel lines to get the production up faster uh, so it produced quicker. You have to constantly be checking your uh, stations or your factories uh, by simply going to the cargo area and you can see exactly how much uh, is available here. Medical supplies is 2654. So <laughs> I'm producing enough medical supplies to keep it uh, you know, relatively full for the embassies to buy from. However, in this situation, I'm actually producing more than I need. Uh, you know, and this is a situation where you probably want to use a cargo ship or uh, simply pick it up yourself and go sell it somewhere else. Because obviously this thing is producing enough uh, that it's able to be, you know, the, 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 the extra can be, sell, can be sold somewhere else without affecting the NPC uh, demand, uh, you know, for the NPCs to come here and pick up uh, the med supplies. So that's something you got to watch. You always got to be paying attention uh, on the station, how much you have, uh, and all that kind of stuff. So there's no point in spending another 17 million credits to upgrade another production line. Uh, so it's, it's, once again, it's just you have to watch your stations. Uh, obviously, uh, if it if it's producing too slowly and the demand is too high, the NPCs are going to constantly clean you out. Then, of course, you want to upgrade the station. The other option, of course, or not the other option, the other reason why you would upgrade is, for example, this water factory is producing water for this station, plus it's I'm also selling it. Uh, so the upgrade, had you, you, I upgraded one more production line, I do believe. Um, so I was producing enough water to supply this station, plus sell it. Uh, so there's, you know, you, once again, you just got to be watching uh, how much you're producing how much the demand is going, how much the NPCs are taking, uh, and how much you're, you know, for example, this thing is just kind of a little uh, supply chain, uh, how, much am I'm, how much I'm sending to this factory, and how much I am uh, selling to NPCs. So something to remember, of course, when you're doing this. The other one, the other question, like I so said, this is a real quick video about some of the questions I've had about the production and all that kind of stuff, uh, was the question about production lines. So on this thing, I do have production capacity on here. I think I did in the first video. I have a, a, a Zanian assembly. Now Zanian, the material itself, only will produce three production lines. Um, if you want more than this, you're going to have to go to a Vorian, which will be five production lines. So it's a material problem, not uh, you know that you can't get more than three production lines. Now I added these on because, once again, I, my, my station wasn't producing the, the medical supplies fast enough, so I added three production lines onto the station uh, just to help with the production of the med supplies. Only reason I did it. Uh, do I probably need? Did I probably need to do it? Probably not, because it was still producing fast enough to keep the NPCs supplied. Uh, it was enough to keep the demand uh, for medical supplies uh, filled. Yeah. So, real quick video. Uh, if you guys are doing these in stations, just make sure you're jumping in. Uh, and, and it's kind of, it's not common sense, but it's kind of a, uh, just watch it. You, you know, you're watching your production. Uh, you know, upgrading production lines are expensive. So, you know, for example, the next up on this one will be 17 million. After that, it'll probably go to like 30, 40, 50 million. Uh, you get into like the high-end advanced factories, you're talking 200 million credits to, to up your production line. If you don't need it, don't spend the money. Uh, it's a waste of uh, money and material, really, honestly. Uh, if the demand is not, you know, um, not that great, uh, you don't want a factory full of uh, materials or uh, pr finished products, unless, of course, you're going to use your trading ship, uh, an automated trading ship, to get rid of it. Uh, so, if you're not using automated trading ships, don't use, don't, don't upgrade your production lines if you don't have to. If you're using automated trading ships or doing it yourself, of course, you know, max this thing out uh, so it's producing a lot uh, so you can pick up the, a the excess material uh, and go sell it. So with that said, guys, thanks for watching and I hope I cleared this up a little bit better uh, for the people that are uh, asking these questions.